What's up everyone, welcome back, and if you are new here, welcome to my channel where we talk about all things volleyball. Alright guys, quick update from here in Poland. We have had three matches since my last video. The first was up in Olsztyn, Poland, playing against Olsztyn, where we won 3-0. to zero. Then we traveled directly to Zhezhov, Poland, to play against Aseko Rosovia, where we won 3-2. to two. Oof, a crazy match. And then we traveled to Lubin, Poland, to play against Lubin, where we lost three to two. They played so well, took it to us, and beat us in that five set match, and we are currently sitting in second place in the Polish Blues Liga. All right guys, so for today's video, we're gonna be reacting to a video from IFHT Films called How to Be a Volleyball Player. I got this requested on my channel, I took a look, and I felt that we just had to watch it, react to it, and have some fun. So let's get into it. How to be a volleyball player. Let's Only get into it. And you too can be like us. Step one, legit. decide what kind of volleyball you want that, to play. I mean, you kind if of got to like choose. Spandex, play indoor volleyball. If you like bikinis, consider beach volleyball. Step two, buy a... I'm sorry, no, that's not why you should choose indoor beach volleyball, but you will have to choose, but honestly, you can just wear whatever you want. That's not. I don't, I don't like that one. Pair of volleyball shoes. The flashier your shoes, okay, yeah, the get better good shoes. think you are. Flashing is doesn't matter. And don't even matter. think about wearing ankle socks unless you want to look like unathletic garbage. <laughs> if you're a dude, knee pads are optional, but your friends might think you're a sissy. What? Step three. First of all, flashy shoes don't matter. Wear whatever shoes are comfortable. I wear Nike. I will tag them below and put them in the description box what I wear what I like it doesn't have to be flashy also I do think every player should wear knee pads especially if you're a younger player they just help you feel more comfortable you'll go for the ball more you won't be scared to scrape up your knees as you get older you can wear whatever you want but as a younger player I know that I was actually forced to wear knee pads in junior high and high school and they really helped me kind of develop as a defender and a passer if you think you don't need them buy a pair of ankle braces Not oh also about the socks I don't like low socks I joke about them all the time on my on my my TikTok channel, TikTok channel, TikTok app, TikTok account, but they really don't matter. But I mean, higher socks can protect your shins just a little bit. Only will they protect your ankles from sprains, but they will make you look like a pro. Step four. I don't wear ankle braces, but a lot of players do. I did have to wear them in pass, high school and college. You can't play. Don't worry about those burning red forearms. You'll get used to it. Step five. Now what was step four? Step four. Learn how to bump or pass the ball. If you can't pass- I agree. I agree. 100%. The first skill you should learn is passing. And they're right. If you can pass, you can play. I think it's the most important skill in volleyball. And if you learn it and can be good at it and develop, you'll be on the court. So yeah, I agree. Nice job. Pass, you can't play. Don't worry about those burning red forearms. And you'll get used to it. Your arms do Step burn five. sometimes, but now you'll learn how to set it. the ball. And don't be creeped out if someone compliments your hands. Wow, man, <laughs> you have really nice hands. <laughs> Step six. True. Learn how to, learn how to set. Or hit the ball. Okay, yeah, that's the next approach. step. Bump that swing, spike. But Good order. I like that. Your timing. Step seven. Yeah. Get to know you the work on that time. Power. The one who hits the ball. Power. Now, the taller guy who hits the ball. Back row. The defensive players. And setter. That's me. The one who blames their team for everything. You expect me to get that? You're way too slow. It's not that hard. One pass. That's it. Step eight. Learn what a libero. Wait. First of all, those positions. The power is just an outside hitter. There's outside hitter, middle blocker, opposite hitter, setter, libero, serving specialist, DS. There's a lot of positions. Power is not one of them. Is and choose how yeah, to learn what a libero, libero is. Libero, 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 or libero. No matter what you choose, you will always be wrong. That is so Step true. Nine, know what kind of I mean, there are so many debates on my social media about how you say libero. It's an Italian word, guys. It's like libero or something like that. But again, I just, I don't really care. But it's important to know what we do as liberos, as liberos, how we play, how we practice. The name of it is really just not that important. Volleyball player you are. The noob. The, the noob. one who is too loud. Fine, fine, fine. Oh, I think I'm the loud one sometimes. The one who is super tall but can't jump. That's not me. The one I can't who exaggerates jump. everything. Maybe that's The me. one who always has an excuse. The one who rides the bench. The one who takes it too seriously. Oh, the drama queen, maybe. I'm a bunch of those. Shows up to practice. Oh, no, the guy I with the up. weird serve routine. I don't serve. Why do you have to <laughs> learn volleyball That's jargon fine. such as the following? Okay, Spike, volleyball set, jargon. Tool, kill, float, line, pipe, seam, ace, dig, free, roof, pokey, pepper, touch, tip, shank, side out. Learn how to set up a volleyball. Oh, net. those were all really good volleyball jargons. I know what all of those are. Do you guys? Make sure you look those up. I mean, it's not that important, but that was kind of funny because 
that is really volleyball jargon. And don't forget to carefully release the crank when there's tension oh. on it, unless you want this to happen. Learn to set up the net. Hand. Oh, I heard it in volleyball. Oh, did you fall? No, I was just setting up the net. Setting Step up the 12, net. get in the hat. That's so funny because I don't know if I could set up a net these days. I forgot in, I learned pretty young, but I know for sure in seventh grade at my school in team volleyball, they made us learn how to set up the net because that was like an important skill for discipline and also that we needed to prepare our court. But at this point, I haven't set up a net in a long time, you guys. Oof. But of calling for the Always ball. Always call for the if ball, yeah. Mine, if you want to take the ball, happen. call it, mine. But even if you do call the ball, this might happen. That is true. If you're a dude. That is true. I mean, you should call for the ball, be decisive, be loud, be aggressive, go for the ball. I don't care, just get it up. Get used to people making fun of you. A volleyball? <laughs> is that a girl sport? You have to wear I'm lucky, in Hawaii, Why people didn't think sport? it was a girl sport. Step 14, so big to prevent point. or protect hand injuries, wrap your fingers with tape. <laughs> Remember, there is no such thing as too much tape. Oh Step 15, where pay attention spell? to where you should be on the court at all times. True. Or else this will happen. Wait a minute, guys. How do we screw up the rotation? Why are you there? I thought I was supposed to be where you are. Know the difference between a pancake. <laughs> that is true, guys. You do need to learn the positions and the rotations. That's just part of volleyball. That's why we rotate. And funny story, last match, we literally had a 20 to 25 minute delay because the referee screwed up the substitution pattern that we had. So we subbed in, we subbed out, but they didn't record it. So then we were out of rotation, out of rotation. They said we were out of rotation. And then we actually lost the game on that point. 25 minutes later, after arguing, showing video, yelling, screaming, drama, they reverse it. We go back to 26, 25 and we lose that point anyway, but still they messed it up because they didn't record the rotation right. So it is important to learn those. You too, Referees. A pancake, pancake and a six pack and a six pack. Step oh, 17. That is true. So a pancake is when you get your hand under the ball like this. It's like flat like a pancake. A six pack of beer or anything. We know what that is. And then when you hit someone in the face, it's also called a six pack. So that's kind of funny. To the referee making bad calls. Right. What the hell? Oh, that speaking of referees. What the fuck? <gasps> oh, Step 18. Oh. Work on your poker face. Sometimes poker you face. can get Why? away with touching the ball without the ref noticing. No touch. Step 19. Mm. Pro rap. I mean, depending on what level you are, you're at, there might be a challenge system. So that's not always true. And at this point, in like in pro volleyball and international volleyball, you do admit to your touches a lot, unless they're like teeny teeny, because you know that the camera is gonna catch it anyway. But at a younger age, yeah. I mean, it's part of the game to kind of lie and <laughs> try to get that point no matter what. Everything. What is that? Oh. As an outside I've seen people hitter, do that. No set is ever good enough. Can you set it higher? Set it just a little bit tighter. <laughs> Setters? Okay, not so tight. You like a uh, 3.5. Volleyball is a game of split decision. So, hitters, you don't need to tell your setter it's good or bad every single time. I'm friends with a lot of setters. My brother is a setter. My dad was a setter. Micah Christensen is a setter. Obviously, I have a lot of good setter friends. They don't need to hear that it's good or bad or tight or high or low or fast every single time. Usually, they know what they said. They know if it was good or bad. Every once in a while, of course, you're gonna have to communicate, but it's not every single ball. Making, get in the habit of calling balls in True, or out. In, but in, if in, you're in, not in, sure, in, you don't have to say it. Just kidding. Step 22. <laughs> you will experience the urge to use every ball. So I'm going to go back to that one. If you are super confident in a ball that's in or out and you want to help your teammates, yeah, call it in or out. That's going to help you win a point, hopefully. But if you're not sure, that's a tough one. As, as a player, you kind of have to know yourself, but your teammate should help, you should help. But if you're not sure, maybe you don't need to say something 100%. Volleyball. Some teams like to have special cheers for Wait, what was that? Just kidding. Step 22. You will experience the urge to use every ball. That's as true. A like even a pillow Some right here, like I try to set every once in a while. When they score points. Know the difference between a girl's cheer? Who cares if it's a girl's ah! cheer or a boy's a cheer? cheer. <laughs> Step 24, don't be alarmed if you- I mean, I don't care how you celebrate. Look how I celebrate. I used to be really insecure and feel like people were making fun of my celebrations because I'm loud and I jump and I fall and I scream. I don't care anymore. You shouldn't care. If you want to show passion for your team and that you're excited to score a point and to celebrate someone else scoring a point on your team, scream, yell, jump. I don't care. As long as you show positive energy and that you're into that game and focused and determined and have energy for your team. I celebrate all you 
you want. Coach tells you to shag your balls. All right, boys and girls. In fact, when I went to my first Olympics, I remember texting Robin Amo, who is a three-time Olympic setter for Team USA. She currently coaches at the University of Hawaii. What her piece of advice was for me heading into my Olympics, and she said, celebrate like every point is the championship point or your final point because you don't want any, you don't want to look back and have regrets and feel like you didn't put everything into it. So I remember going into that Olympics and pretty much every day moving forward from that and just celebrating like crazy. And I just don't care what people think anymore because I know that I'm giving effort to my team, to my coaches, to my club, to my national team, and hopefully showing some positive energy. So that's how I feel about celebrating. Step 24, don't be alarmed if your coach tells you to shag your balls. All right, boys and girls, <laughs> let's shag our balls. It simply means to gather like your what? scattered volleyball. No, that's just Step to collect 25. the balls that are moving During around. a tournament, know how to use the time in between games productively by playing True. in a quiet True. area. Or if you're a girl, by braiding each other's hair. <laughs> Step okay. six, learn how to- I mean, personally, it doesn't matter if you're a girl or a boy or playing volleyball. I mean, use your time productively. I remember in tournaments as a younger player, we used to pepper, we used to eat, we used to do homework, we used to watch other teams. Whatever you want to do, make sure it's productive and, and have fun. Hand signals. Blocking line, True. Blocking cross, do they have to show ball, like this? 30, 40, 50, 60, slide, Every team has different hand signals, so make sure you're just on the same page as your like other teammates. Finely aged parmesan cheese. If you come Oof. across a balloon, you Wait, must what use was it that? 30, 40, 50, 60, slide, Something S, about gross knee pads, shocker. which I know Don't all about. Don't be surprised when your knee pads smell like a finely aged parmesan cheese. Unfortunately, If you come across true. a balloon, you must use it as a volleyball. <laughs> Nothing makes you feel more like an Olympic no athlete than playing volleyball with a balloon. This is a hilarious video. Step 29, when playing B. So that's actually how me and my brother started playing volleyball was with balloons in the living room. Our parents would kind of clear out the living room, set up like a fake net in the carpet, and we would try to keep it off the ground. And that's where we started. So my, I know my brother and I have really fond memories of playing balloon volleyball. And as a young kid, it actually is helpful. Like when you're really, really young and then you progress to like a real ball. Feel free to blame your mistakes on the Ugh, wind. No I'm wind blinding. indoor, thank Sorry. goodness. But beach, wind. In fact, beach, yeah. Blame the wind all the time. It's a damn wind. Step 30. Sometimes Learn there are draw currents volleyball in. without having to Google it. it. It's harder than you think. Drawing the volleyball is hard. Dive after a ball. Now that your form Oof. is perfect, attempt to use it in game. And oh. finally, <laughs> remember to keep your learn how to draw so, volleyball. So diving is actually not that easy. I get a lot of questions on social media. How do you perfect a dive? How do you practice diving? Honestly, I don't have the best dive. <laughs> I'm not very good at it. I don't have the best technique, but just go out there, watch some pros dive, learn some technique, practice it over and over and over until you get more comfortable and then you'll get better at diving. Without having to Google it, it's harder than you think. Practice how to perfectly dive after a ball. Now that your form is You can is dive, perfect, you can roll, you can side roll, half dive. And finally, Try not to do remember that. to keep your eye on the ball. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and not stay the focused, buttons. stay focused, of course. Miss? Leave a comment in the comment section below. Always try to stay focused. <laughs> that was a hilarious video. All right, guys. Well, that was a fun video to make. I thought they did a great job of mixing humor in with some real tips and tricks and all of those things. I thought it was hilarious. The main things, obviously, you want to learn the skills, pass, set, hit, block, defense, and then also things like learning the rotations, learning to communicate, learning to dive, learning to call out the ball. All of those things are great things to learn from this video and apply it to your game to become a better and better volleyball player. So I love what they did, mixing the humor in with the real stuff, and they created a great video. So thank you to IFHT for that video. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I promise next video we're going to be reacting to another volleyball match. But before then, get out, play some volleyball if you can, have some fun, and I'll see you all soon. Peace.